Oh boy, here they come. Here they come. Oh, 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 oh. So early. The new skate park opens today. Everybody's gonna be there. So I want to get to know your start. How come you didn't wake me up for a walk? Because this, my boy, is the beginning of a long-awaited day of total privacy. At least it was until you came along. Don't you like being with the family? Yes. But even the sweetest candy should only be eaten in small bites. By nature, families are noisy, unruly mobs. Once in a while, you have to step into the silence just to hear yourself think. I don't get it. Sounds lonely to me. <laughs> just the opposite, Roy. Private time gives one the opportunity to re-energize and refresh. You should try it sometime. Whoa. Look, Dad. Guinness needs some privacy, too. Do you think he's getting refreshed? In a way, Roy, I'm sure he is. Uh, did you bring the plastic bag? Arthur, are you okay? Oh, yes, dear. I'm just taking my last loving look at my family before you scatter to the four winds, leaving me all alone for one whole day. You don't have to be alone, Daddy. I'll stay home and keep you company. No, 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 Catherine, no. You promised little Molly down the street that you'd spend all day playing at her house. If you broke that promise, it would bring shame upon the Bindlebeep house. You wouldn't want that. Oh, no. I don't want to bring Shane here. Just Molly. I don't even know anybody named Shane. That's shame, Catherine. And get a clue. Daddy's trying to get rid of us. I am not trying to get rid of you. I am just graciously accepting your departure. Which is a not too subtle way of saying that you're trying to get rid of us. Now, wait a minute. Do you realize what a rare occurrence this is? Norma, you're at work all day doing inventory. Catherine down the street, Roy probably breaking a limb as we speak at the skate park, Angie making noise over at Carmel's house. Daddy, it's not noise. Me, Carmel, and Sky are forming the next mega girl group. People say we sound like Destiny's child. Well, for her sake, I hope Destiny has some earplugs. Daddy! Bottom line, a day like this comes once in a blue moon. It'll be like paradise. My own private oasis, where I could while away the hours in absolute tranquility. Enjoy it while you can. We'll all be home at five. At last. The castle is deserted, and the king is at his leisure. Hold that thought. I'm here about the mouse. Mouse? What mouse? Bindle beep, right? Mouse problem. I'm here to wrangle it. Wrangle? Yeah, we don't kill him. We catch him and set him free. More humane. Now, where is that little critter? Here, mousey. Mouse wrangler? Hold on. I don't know anything about... Hello. I forgot to tell you. A man is going to come about the mouse. What mouse? What do you mean, what mouse? He's been in the house for weeks. If you paid any attention, you'd know what mouse. Yes, dear. Anyway, an exterminator's coming. Where are you, mouse? He's a wrangler, and he's already here. Good. Show him to the attic, but warn him about that door. You know it still sticks shut. Having a good day so far? Mouse. Well, here's the attic. I have to warn you that the door sticks. Locks from the outside. It's a good idea to keep it open when you're up there. Otherwise, you'll get locked in. So... 
You'll be okay? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. There isn't a rodent alive I can't wrangle. <laughs> you know, this one time I was called out on a big rat job and then... This sounds like one of those location stories, like you had to be there, and I wasn't there, so if you'll excuse me, I'm off to wrangle a little privacy. <laughs> Goodness, you're home. Elkins, what can I do for you, neighbor? Selling chips door to door? My big screen just went on the fritz, and the big race is about to start. Mind if I watch it here? I'm not much of a racing fan, and besides, this is a quiet day. So, come on, Arthur. <clears throat> you owe me one. I let you use my grill when you ran out of propane on the fourth. Consider a seat. Gentlemen, start your engine! Arthur, leave your house. Oh, little sunshine. <laughs> Come on, Molly. I'll turn on the hose. Hose? Oh! <laughs> Catherine! Aren't you and Molly supposed to be at her house? We were, but I had to show Molly my froggy sprinkles toy. Mm -hmm. What did you have to show me, too? Molly, where is your mother? Here I am, Arthur. The girls just wanted to play at your house for a while, so I let them. That's fine, Emma. Just as long as you're watching them. I'm going back inside now. Good seeing you. Now I need to change this shirt. Yeah, yeah, boy. Watch him on the rail. Watch what? Piss him! Hmm. I've got to get this lock fixed. I guess there's something to be said for the kids not putting their things away. throw you away the 106 times Norma told me to. <sighs> hmm? Hmm. Ow. Hello? Hi, Arthur. Just checking in. Is the Wrangler gone? Not yet. But soon, I hope. Everything quiet otherwise? Yes. Great maneuver. Yes. Great maneuver. What? Nothing. I was distracted by... Arthur, what are you doing to the phone? Phone? Isn't that you? Wow, well, who's that? Who is that? Who is this? Elkins. Elkins? Sorry, Arthur. I was just calling my buddy Hank. I did not sanction any Hank calls. Who is Hank? Why is Elkins on our phone? What is going on there? That's awful! What's awful? I have to go, dear. I think somebody's strangling a cat downstairs. Dr. Bindleby. Don't you hide Daddy Bindleby me. What are you three doing here? Rehearsing? Why aren't you rehearsing at Carmel's house? Shoot, we tried that, but it was hotter than Denzel up in my crib. Then we went to my house, but my parents didn't want the noise. Well, what makes you think that I want the noise that your parents didn't want? Come on, Mommy. Huh? It's upstairs. Catherine, you are soaking wet and in the house. I just wanted to show Molly my dollhouse. Hey. But you're supposed to be outside, way outside, down the block outside. I told them, Martha, but you know kids, they just don't listen. <laughs> I can't find that mouse anywhere. 
But that's not unusual. Uh, there was this one time I had to root on a gopher, and they... No offense, but I am not interested in... Whoa! What a collision! Arthur, come here! You gotta see the replay! No, Hank, I'm talking to my neighbor, Arthur. You wanna say hi? Hank wants to say hi. Now listen up. I have been looking forward to a day of privacy for a long time. And doggone it, I'm going to have one. Today! No playing, no singing, no rodent stories, and no collisions. I want everybody out of this house right now. The only people welcome are me, myself, and I. And if myself and I get noisy, then they can leave too. Understand? Out! Keep it out. Out! Out! Have a nice day. Something wrong, Norma. I've been trying to reach Arthur for half an hour, but the phone's constantly busy. I'm going to try his cell. Hello? Arthur, I've been trying to reach you forever. Is anything wrong? No, dear. Everything is just right. I threw everyone out. Everyone? Uh, who all was there? Wasn't your plan to be alone? It was, and now I am. And it couldn't be more pleasant. Scratch that. It could be a little more pleasant if you stopped checking in on me. I don't need checking in on. I'm fine. That's why I unplugged all the house phones and will be turning off my cell just as soon as we're done talking. Hmm. Sounds like we're done talking. Have a great rest of the day, Norma. I love you. See you at five. Mom, can we rehearse in your storeroom? Daddy's lost his mind. So I've heard. If you paid more attention, you'd know what mouse. Now I'm paying attention. Easy now. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just want you out of the house so my wife doesn't hurt me. That's it. Easy. No. Oh, no. No, no. This does not bode well. It doesn't open. That would be too easy. Nothing's easy today. Catherine, help! Up here, it's Daddy! <laughs> Catherine, there's your Daddy in the window. Hi, Daddy! Catherine, honey, the door is locked. For Come me. on, girls. We better to get back to our house before he explodes again. Hi, Daddy! No, 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 no! I, I'm don't leave! I'm trapped! Does she come with a mute button? <laughs> Listen, Arthur, the boy's got rhythm. See if he's got some aspirin, too. He's giving me a headache. <laughs> you ruined that whole set of pots. Oh, how could I forget this one? I love candy. I love Halloween. I love trick or treat. I love Halloween. I love candy. I love Halloween. Well, Arthur, why would you let Catherine have that much candy at one time? I don't know. <laughs> Smile, please, everyone. The timer's about to go off. Tell Roy to stop looking at me. I'm looking towards you, not at you. Then don't look towards me. Are we done yet? I have to go to the bathroom real bad. Knock it off, all of you. Yes, sir. 
That's the Bendel Beep Clan. Noisy, but nice. You broke right through the wall so we could all hear you. <laughs> but you're welcome, dear. Mommy! Hey, little girl. Did you have a fun day with Molly? Oh, yeah. We had lots of fun. Good. Daddy didn't scare you, did he? No, not really. But he tried real hard. Well, we're just going to have to go in there and tell him off, aren't we? Arthur? We're home. Careful, Mom. Mr. Privacy is liable to bite your head off. Okay, Dr. Bindlebeep, you need to come out here and explain why you've been so rude to everybody today. Especially me. Hmm. Arthur? Are you in here? Okay, I'm not liking this. Mommy, come quick! Mommy, we can't let Daddy stay home by himself anymore. He's messy. Mom, should we be worried? I'm not sure. What was your father's frame of mind when he threw you out? There was no frame. It was more like a wall mural covered with angry graffiti. Seems kind of crazy when he waved at me and Molly from the attic window. The attic? Arthur, are you in there? Hello? Arthur? That mouse is a master of escape. He is the reincarnation of Houdini. I didn't stand a chance. Well, the main thing is that you're okay. But we will get rid of that mouse tomorrow, right? He will be eliminated with extreme prejudice. But I must say, I've never been happier to see my family. And ladies, being locked in the attic gave me time to think. My desire for privacy was no excuse to lash out at everyone. I was way out of line, and I apologize for my behavior. Apology accepted. So a private day isn't all it's cracked up to be, huh, Daddy? The only thing that cracked up is me. Is Roy home from the skate park yet? Not yet. If Roy's at the skate park, then why is the skateboard here? That skateboard's been here all day. I used it to prop open the attic door. Hey, everybody. Roy, how long have you been in your room? Huh? How long have you been home? All day. All day? Yeah. That privacy day sounded like a good idea, so I decided to try it. I've been listening to music and reading all day. It's been very relaxing. Roy, didn't you hear me banging on the window and calling for help earlier? I don't know, maybe. Then why didn't you do anything? And you, man's best friend indeed. Am I in trouble? Normally, yes, but today I am willing to let it go. You did me a favor, Roy. By having time to myself in the attic, I realized that there's no place I'd rather be than with my unruly mob of a family. What's in the box, Roy? Oh, this? Can I keep them? Yeah, why not? So, Mr. Solitary Man, your day of R&R &R didn't exactly turn out the way you planned, did it? No, but I guess with children, that's the way it goes. Remind me again, why do we decide to become parents? 
I think it was so you'd have a way to develop new lines on your face. And so I could always be saying to someone, you want me to drive you where? But you know the best part about noisy days? Quiet nights. <laughs> oh, yes. How about a little kiss? How about a big one? What's the matter? Afraid of a little mouse? Oh, Come back! Floyd's got that mouse in my room! I want to see! Oh, no, don't take him out of the box! Catherine! Arthur, can you do something about your son? Arthur? Arthur who? Arthur Bindlebeep. Sorry, he moved.